Yeah. All right. So first things first, I'm just going to quick download uh Okay, there we go. Is that a different GeForce? What is that? It's uh the newest driver. Also, GeForce is pretty shit for Halo. Well, it's honestly pretty shit for Halo and or any game in general. Do you use it? No. So uh, we got those three, that's good. All right, so we got MSI Afterburner, Driver, DDU, and we download clean install. Your second monitor on the right. It's on the right. I don't know if I'm freaking doing that right here. Uh, drag that over to the other monitor for me because I can't. This? All right, yeah, that's good. Got those four things. We can do that later. We're on Windows 10, cool, cool. All right, so we'll do your BIOS first. Uh, so we're gonna go. All right, I just have to tell him to call me on Discord. Mm -mm -mm. Yo, all right, uh, turn on your camera and then just point it at the screen. All right, cool. Hold on one sec. Let me. That you out. can see that? Yeah, yeah, I could see it. Um, just uh, flip your phone like horizontally so it like. Whatchamacallit? Yeah. It might look weird on your end, but it's normal on mine. Uh, sick. All right, so click on Troubleshoot. How did you even get to this page? Uh, okay. Click on Advanced, and then click on UEFI Firmware Settings. Yeah, click Restart. So right now, we're just going into your BIOS. It'll restart straight into your BIOS. Is that just like what is a BIOS again? The graphics card, like well, the BIOS, is, the BIOS is your motherboard, and it's like all your, it's all the settings on the motherboard, and it basically tells all your parts what to do. I know it right here. Yeah. Okay. So, is that an Asus motherboard it looks like it. Oh, it's an MSI. Okay. Uh, click on. There an advanced option somewhere. Uh yeah, advanced. Press F seven your keyboard click on settings. on settings uh click advanced click uh pci subsystem settings the top one all right uh click on 
above 4G memory. The uh, the third one. This one? Yeah, click on that one. And change that to enabled. And then re click on resize bar support. Change that to enabled. All right, so that's good. Um, it looks like your memory's overclocked. It says it's on XMP. You don't need to change any of that. Uh, go back to settings. Okay. Um, click on, um, honestly, if your RAM is overclocked, I'm not going to do any CPU overclocking because every CPU is different and I'm not trying to fuck up anybody's CPU, but, uh, that should be good. Click save and exit and then click save changes and reboot. And then, yep. Good. Something about crypto mining. I've done that before. <laughs> Apparently, crypto mining and 4G decoding are the same thing. I mean, I don't know. But you need 4G decoding on in order to use resize bar. There's a few more things you got to do. Uh, we have to do one more thing. And then the rest I can do on my... I, I can do it on your PC uh, and then just close it when I'm done. Sign in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sign in. Uh, how do I get back there? All right. Uh, no, you don't need to go back into the BIOS. Uh, you can disconnect from the phone. Call me on Discord from your p computer. All right. So basically, all we just did was turn on resize bar uh, on his computer. He, it looks like his memory was already overclocked. Oh my God, that's okay. All right. My uh, computer. Okay. I'm going to... Reconnect to your PC here. Uh, open up any desk. It should be I you you shouldn't have to send me a new address. It should be the same one. So it's up. So I just wait for you. Yeah. Yeah. All right, all right. Oh, oh, click that shit, for, that me. shit for me. It's loud. All right. So now what we're going to do is we are going to de-bloat the graphics driver. So first, we're just going to extract, uh, extract DDU from the download that we did earlier. All right. And we're, you're just going to open up the self-extracting file, just extract that. You'll see this folder come up, and you can just delete that, and then that folder. So we'll actually use this in safe mode, but first we're going to go to NV Clean Stall, which we downloaded before as well. And then when we get into this, you're going to use driver files on disk. And we're going to choose the driver that we downloaded from before. It's on the desktop. So this one. Next. Um, depending on how you have your stuff set up. Uh, I mean, most of this you don't need. Uh, so I always just click the recommended. Um, if you're using like a mix amp or you're getting your audio through like an optical cable or USB, you do do not need the HD audio. If you're using like... I'm using Go XLR. Yeah, so yeah. you you don't need that. Um, if somebody else was using like HDMI like to a monitor and then the monitor out or something, you do need that. Um, but since you don't, just I pretty much just always do the display driver and the PhysX. Uh, go next, it'll unpack. <sighs> I'll explain what all this uh, this is just going to make the game run better generally it'll make the it should make the game run better it might it, it depending on your setup like if you have a really good graphics card it'll probably boost your fps a lot if your setup's kind of like meh 
it'll still make the game feel better and you might get a little bit of an FPS boost, but not always. Okay, so once we get to installation tweaks, uh, disable installer tele telemetry. I can't speak tele telemetry. Uh, do a perform a clean install. Disable multiplane overlay. This shit is garbage. You do not want this on. It's automatically on always with NVIDIA. Uh, it causes stutters. It causes FPS drops, and there's absolutely no benefit to having multiplane overlay on. Uh, go to show expert tweaks. Disable driver telemetry. Uh, disable N NVIDIA HD audio device sleep timer if you were not using the HD audio. Enable message signal interrupts. Turn the interrupt priority to high. HDCP, you don't want this on. It causes input lag, and on top of that, it makes dual PC dual PC streaming with a capture card, a bitch. Um, so you turn that off, uh, use the method compatible with easy anti-cheat, whatever, blah, blah, blah. You're gonna do both of these and then you're gonna click next. And now it's basically just gonna de-bloat the entire driver. Um, and we're going to move that to the desktop. And then, so here, what I'll do, what you should do, just make a new folder. We're going to call it debloated U driver. So go to show in folder, drag all of this to the new folder, close that, close this out. And then now we have our debloated driver. We don't need the original one. And empty, get rid of that, whatever. Okay, so now. We're gonna take care of the driver in safe mode. So uh, I'm gonna restart your shit again, Aaron. Uh, and then you're gonna call me on your phone again on Discord. All right. On the other screen. Yes, I'll, I'll upload the whole thing to YouTube. Yo, can you hear me? Yeah. Troubleshoot? Uh, yeah. Let me let me see your. Yeah, there we go. Pop this out again so I can see. Yeah, click troubleshoot, and click advanced, and then click on startup settings. Yep. And then click restart. That's all we're doing is restarting it, or coming back here. Not quite. You'll you'll see. It's gonna bring you to a screen, and we're gonna boot into safe mode. Press four on your keyboard. Just number four. Yeah. So basically, what's that? What what that's gonna do? It's just gonna boot into the safe mode of Windows. Uh, you can log in right there. All right. So now, at the top right, where all the stuff is that I uh put on the desktop over so I could see. Click on uh, DDU at the top right. And then click on the second one that says display driver uninstaller. Click OK. That's perfectly fine. And then click close at the bottom. And then for select device type on the like the middle right, click that. Click GPU. And now click on the one in the middle of the left side that says clean and do not restart. So now it's just going to completely wipe every file having to do with GPU drivers. Anytime you install a new driver on top of the old one without doing a clean install, it'll tend to cause issues. Um, not always, but it can definitely cause issues and be a pain in the ass. Um, so I always recommend just going into safe mode and doing a complete uh, like a complete wipe clean install of uh, the drivers. So this usually takes like 45 seconds to like a minute and then a window will pop up, say, um, you want to close now. So it should be just about done here in a second. Yeah, I don't mean to bother, but like I'm just trying to plan like what I'm about to do. Like 
do you want me to stick around for a little bit longer? I'm mean, out of time, but I'm just trying to. Yeah, yeah, no. Out. As as soon as we're done, as we have to do one more thing after this, and you can restart the computer. Let me connect, and then you're good. So just need like. All right. Cool. Another. That's only like five, five minutes. Five, yeah, five to ten max, but probably not even ten. Okay, it looks like stuff on away. Yeah, no, it'll a little a little window will pop up. There it is. Okay, so yeah, you can click yes. Yeah, so now at the top right, go to deep loaded GPU driver. Now click the second to last one that says setup. This is it's gonna look like a normal NVIDIA graphics install. Uh, so now you just click agree and continue. Uh, click. Uh, recommended, yep, just hit next. Now it's just going to do the GPU install. Um, I forgot to mention one thing. If you want GeForce Experience when you're doing uh, the deep loaded driver with NVClean install, make sure you select to install GeForce Experience. Um, you can always install it from the website later if you want it. I just don't, honest, I don't even know what that means. I, I don't yeah, recommend I don't having it. It's basically it. it basically it's just a program from Nvidia that keeps your drivers updated automatically, and it also adds an in-game overlay to where you can like record shit. But you already have right. if you really want to record shit in game, you already have Game Bar on your computer. I just don't recommend having any overlay of any sort. It's going to make the game feel worse. Steam overlay, terrible. Discord overlay, terrible. GeForce overlay, terrible. Game bar overlay, terrible. It's like none of it's ever going to be good for your computer. If you really want to record, I would recommend getting uh, like okay. a second like computer or something and recording that way. No, I, would I, I have that. another computer. Yeah, so then you're fine. <clears throat> Install complete. Close. Okay, yeah, click close. All right, yep, that's fine. That's normal. So you could just uh, go down to the bottom left, click on the Windows button, and then uh, restart. Restart? Yeah, and then once we get back to the desktop, you can open up any desk. Um, I'll, uh, I'll connect, and then you should be good to go. Great. That was pretty easy. It always seems a lot more difficult than it is, huh? <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, well, there's a there's a lot stuff. more stuff to do on Windows than there is in the really? BIOS, to be honest. So, and I'm not, I'm not necessarily doing as much as I would normally do because of time constraint. But it's uh, it's still, it's still a lot anyway. Yeah. All right. So here, I'm gonna. Click accept. All right, click the audio thing for me again. All right, so should be good. I'm just gonna minimize all this. All right, you should be good to go. I'll do the I'll do the rest. You're just gonna log out and we're good. Uh, yeah. I'll basically just I'll probably like at the end of everything. I'm gonna have to reinstall or reinstall uh restart your computer. So when you come home, it's just gonna be on the login screen. That's fine. Awesome, man. All right. Dude, God bless. Thank you so much. You're the man. No problem. I'll catch you later. See ya. Wait, is your Steam it? Wait, is your Steam logged in? By the way, real quick before you leave. Um, I mean, should I click on it? Yeah, just double click it. All right. Yeah. Yeah, you're good. Okay. All right. I'll All talk right. to you later. All right. Later. <clears throat> All right. So. How often do you optimize your PC? I mean, you should only have to do this once, to be honest. I mean, besides like the updating of drivers and stuff, maybe, but um, this is all stuff you should only have to do once. The only thing that we didn't do on his motherboard was we didn't um, 
we didn't overclock his RAM because it looked like it was already overclocked. But basically, if you have an Intel processor, you want to change your memory from auto to XMP1, or you want to change, if you have an AMD processor, you want to change it from auto to DOCP standard, and that's going to overclock your RAM. So we didn't do that because his was already on XMP1. Um, but as you guys saw earlier, we turned on resize bar. It should be the same on basically any motherboard as long as you have a 20 series or newer NVIDIA card. Um, I'm not sure what cards for AMD they started with. It might be the 50 series. Yes, it is, Bob. It's in the BIOS. Uh, I, I, we could Google that later or something, but... You have to have at least a 20 series or higher for resize bar. And if you don't have resize bar on, you're trolling. So switch over to this again. So now we're back on the desktop. Why does everything open on his second? He has three? Jesus Christ. All right. Um, let's see. Just make sure his stuff is... Which monitor are we on? I don't even know which, which. Okay, so this is the second one. This is the first one. This is the second one. All right. Uh, anyway. Mm, disagree, Josh. Nonetheless, um, I'm just going to set. Make sure after you. He has a 360 hertz monitor. This dude is balling. Make sure Eric, you like reset everything back to their highest hertz um, because after you do, yeah. um, after you do your GPU driver update, it's gonna reset all that. So do all that. I'm just gonna. Any desk with three monitors is not it. Uh yeah. Gosh, definitely. Um so alright. After you change your the hertz on your monitor, that's like first and basic shit. I'll uh I'll walk you guys through Windows settings. So like I said, make sure your display is set to the highest hertz. Uh, if it's Windows 11, it's going to look li a little different, obviously. But we're going to go to... Uh, just go home. We'll start here. System. We're going to... Go notifications. Turn these off. Don't need these. It's an unnecessary process. Uh, power and sleep. Gonna just turn that crap off. Additional power setting. Gonna be all right. So first, I would go choose. Once you get to the power options, go high performance. But then go to the left side. Choose what the power buttons do. Change settings that are unavailable. Turn off fast startup. Save that. Go back. Go to change plan settings. Advanced. Turn this to never. I have no idea what that is be honest maybe he has like an alienware computer or an alienware monitor or something uh go to usb selective suspend turn that off make sure pci express uh power management is off uh the processor power management should look like this 100 active 100 so cores don't park I'm going to apply that and then your power options be good click save um now we can close out of that uh, uh, uh. so for storage i would usually i would try to optimize your drives like once a week okay 
just optimize everything. If it says it's not available, that's fine. <clears throat> so you can close out that. As for storage itself, I would recommend just keeping it, if, especially if you have an SSD, because an SSD, the more you have on it, the start, like, it starts to slow down. So the less, the less you need, the better. Um, this man has 71 gigs of temporary files. I don't know what I told. Okay. So, I mean, he can yell at me if he wants, but I also told him to move anything from his downloads that he doesn't need, um, before we did this. So we're going to clear up all this space. <clears throat> Oh, it is. It's never bad to optimize drives. No, Tommy, if you have a 20 series card or higher, 20 series, 30, 40, whatever, and use resize bar, you just have to enable it in your BIOS. Yeah, I don't even know how that's possible, American. I don't know. Dude's got fucking. Wild shit in there. If you missed anything, then just wait for the video, man. I'm not going to explain things 72 times. I'm sorry. I literally started the stream off with going into Aaron's BIOS and turning on resize bar and everything. So. After this, I will upload the VOD to YouTube. Everyone can follow along. Poor oh, dude. All right, well, we'll come back to this because it's taking forever. Go tablet. I don't see a reason to ever use tablet mode. Multitasking, I turn this off. Suggestions, I don't, I don't do that. Um, remote desktop, I, I would turn that off and whatnot. Go back, we can go. First, let's go device manager. I don't know what all has connected basically you're going to want to you go to your controller make sure that like if you have an xbox controller just go to xbox controller power management make sure this is off then we're going to go system devices disable high precision event timer sound any any sound devices that you're not using, you should disable. He is using a capture card on his other computer, but he said that he probably disable it. If he has issues, then he'll let me know. Display adapters. Sometimes it gives you a power management option. If it doesn't, it's fine. Uh, go to your go to like your USBs. Make sure in the power options, if it gives you the option to tell it not to save power or whatever. Yeah. It's a gaming PC, not a regular PC. We're meant to be drawing power. So I highly doubt Aaron even knows how to use Bluetooth on his computer, so I'm going to disable Bluetooth. You don't need that. If you want to save power and whatnot, like you save power and resources by disabling shit you're not using, basically. That's what I would do. I'm going to assume. Yeah, he's on. Uh, he's on Ethernet. If you're on Ethernet, disable the Wi Fi. If you're on Wi Fi, disable the Ethernet. All right, this all should be good now. Back to storage, see if it's uh, 
good now. I mean, the rest of this stuff is fine for whatever. I'm gonna go personalization. Brother, please use dark mode. And if you don't, I don't know what to tell you because holy crap. Also, I mean, believe it or not, having a picture as your background will take up a little bit of a resource. Not much if you don't care, whatever, but I would just put that shit to a solid color. But Aaron is king earth, so I'm just gonna leave his. Um, rest of that doesn't really matter. I'm gonna go apps. Um uninstall anything you're not using, anything that's not important. Um, I don't know. I don't think he uses OneDrive for anything. OneDrive is a resource hog for sure. Where is... I just want to go to his PC. He's not even using it. If you're not even using it, then just uninstall it. You don't need it. Just get rid of all the stuff that you're not going to use. Can't even imagine Aaron knowing what half of this stuff is. Although I could see him somehow still using Skype. Ah, uh, he's a weather guy. Probably should have left that. If you're not using the Xbox version of the game, I would. Probably just not have that. I don't know why he does. Checking. Knowing him, he has both versions of the game downloaded. This motherfucker. Yeah, don't don't have both versions of, of the game on your computer. That's so just not good. <sighs> yeah, so you don't need the Xbox accessories is fine, especially if you're using like Series X scuff. Well, scuff. Uh, yeah, I think scuff. There's a couple of controllers like Elites and stuff like that. That's good for console companion. Is old as shit. You don't need that. Um, pack maps, it's a little useful. Couldn't tell you what that is. Um, rest of this, it's fine. Um, offline maps, I'm gonna go here. Going to delete all of them. I'm gonna turn off automatically update maps. You don't. I did like a lot of this stuff for gaming is just so. Un if you're using your computer to game, a lot of this is just so unnecessary. Just uh, they just hog resources. Video play by eh, this that doesn't really matter. Startup. Make sure your startup is like you have the bare minimum. You only have on what you need. Which Steam is fine. Don't need Spotify to open. You don't need this. I don't know what that is. It's probably an errant thing, so I'm gonna leave it. Look, that's Discord. That's fine. Whatever. 
Um, if you're using a GoXLR, that's fine. Windows Security Notification, you don't really need that. GoXLR app, fine. Epic Games Launcher, don't even... I, I didn't even know Aaron knew what anything else other than Halo was. Um, and I'm not sure what that does, so I'm just going to leave that. We're going to go gaming, turn game bar off, terrible, bad, very bad. Um, you can leave this on if you want, if you, like, if you really want to record, but I, like I said earlier, if you want to record gameplay and stuff, I highly recommend investing in an external way to do so, so it doesn't hinder your performance in any way. Uh, I always just turn this off. Um, even though, uh, like, this is just more me being, like, paranoid rather than, even though it's off, like, I just put it to the lowest time just in case. Game mode, on, off, honestly, I don't think it matters. Graphic settings, if you have, so, like, go to your graphic settings, and if you have this option available, it should be on. You want this on. Um, variable refresh rate, I do not recommend that whatsoever. Um, let's see, so gonna go here we're gonna go steam go let's say common eh, where is it e maps okay common Halo infinite add and we're gonna go options high performance save done good all right so now with that we're done with that um i don't really think we need to do anything in here although one thing that you could do if you're a mouse and keyboard player, go to mouse, go to change other mouse options, go to additional mouse option, then go to pointers and pointer options, turn off enhanced per pointer or pointer precision. That's not good for mouse and keyboard. That's very bad. Now we'll carry on. I'm going to go to search. I just turn this off. I turn these off. Turn this off. Clear device search history so it doesn't. Like, you don't need a computer to be doing these irrelevant, unimportant. Privacy. Turn this off. Always just nonsense running in the background. Diagnostics. I always turn this off. Activity history. Off. Uh, location i would say turn that off camera mic this, like this is all you know you could leave this on notifications no uh you don't need account info on contacts calendar this is all all just nonsense background apps especially you want those off app diagnostics I would definitely recommend turning those off. The rest matter too much. Um, then we're going to go update and security. Um, you can go to Windows 11 if you have the option if you want. Windows 11 used to suck ass. Now it's, I'd say it's pretty much about the same as Windows 10, but I prefer Windows 10, so I would just stay on Windows 10. Um, there is one option, however, on Windows 11. I can't necessarily show you guys because I don't have a Windows 11 computer to do it, and Aaron's on Windows 10. But if you're in Windows 11, you want to go to Windows Security here, and then it should be under, like, I, I want to say it's App and Browser Control, and then you go to... It's like one of these, you go, you click on one of these, and then you should see core isolation. Turn that off. It's very bad for gaming. Very, very bad. Um, but like I said, I can't show you guys. I'm not on Windows 11. You should be able to do that. Um, I Optional updates, I usually don't recommend doing. If it's like actual updates, I do recommend doing it. Um, driver updates, I would recommend doing things. Like Bluetooth, if like we're not using it or anything, but like, like these these are actual like components on the motherboard. That's useful. So I would run those. Um, so we're just gonna let those install. 
Um, think we need anything else in the settings tab. All right. Um, I don't know why, but can't see the rest of his monitors unless it's all like duplicating. Honestly, I should have just done that before. Now that I think about it, eh, whatever. It's fine. Uh, if you're running the Steam version, make sure you go to in-game. Turn off the in-game overlay. No bueno. Don't want it. Bad. Um, also, make sure you go to your game. Go to properties. DLC. Make sure multiplayer high-res textures are off. Also, if you have the campaign installed, uninstall the high-res campaign textures. Um, honestly, if you're not playing the campaign at, any, at, like, at all anytime soon, I would just recommend uninstalling all of it. Just have the base multiplayer controller. Uh, disable Steam input. All you're doing by having that on is you're sending your input signals to Steam, which are then sending your input signals to the game rather than pressing your buttons and having it sent straight to the game. Uh, that's bad. It's like having another layer of dead zones. You don't want that. So, yeah. Um, I don't, I mean, like... This, this stuff is fine. Usually, if you haven't done this in a while or at all, I would do this. Go to your installed files. Um, delete the disk cache. Looks like, I, I don't think, based off of how that bit was, like how big that was, that folder, like, he probably hasn't ever done that. He hasn't done it a singular time. Okay, so. Gonna just delete that, verify it. <clears throat> While that's doing that, um, good there. Now we're going to go be the control panel. By the way, to go back a little bit. After you do the, the the clean driver install where you go safe mode and all that, if you come back to Windows, because this has happened to me twice and it's completely normal, it's also kind of random. If you come back to your desktop and you don't have NVIDIA control panel, all you need to do is go to the Microsoft store and you just download it from there. That's literally it. You just go Microsoft store and then type in NVIDIA control panel, install, and that's literally it. Um. We're good here. Go manage 3D settings. Also, if you have G-Sync, if you have a good PC, you shouldn't you shouldn't be using any of this. This is you don't you don't want it. It's just it's just a better version of G-Sync, and V-Sync just adds input delay. Which is pretty ass. <clears throat> so. Go back. Uh, this is always a good way to check that resize bar is on. You just go to NVIDIA control panel, system information, resizable bar. If it says yes, you're good. If it says no, then you need to enable it. Close that. G Sync is off. 3D settings. So G Sync, I just have it. Oh, okay, well, I don't want it on. That's terrible. So we're going to set that to off. Reddit optimization, I always have that on. Uh, texture filtering quality, I have that to high performance. Uh, preferred refresh rate, you want highest available. Power management mode, maximum performance. Uh, monitor technology, I would just have it to fixed refresh. Low latency mode, unless you have a really shitty PC, you don't, I, I would just stick with on. You don't, you don't want it to set to ultra. Um, I think... That's good here. 
We're just going to apply that. Yeah, that's correct. What lovers said. Um, if you're on an AMD GPU, the AMD equivalent of resize bar is called SAM. Um, I just use a, whatchamacallit, you can go on like AMD Adrenaline and use that to see if uh, SAM is enabled. Um, but in the BIOS, it'll generally still called, it'll still be called resize bar. Uh, at least on my, I have an AMD, so like my streaming PC that I'm streaming from right now is all AMD. It's AMD processor, GPU. If I go into my Asus, bot, like it's an Asus motherboard, if I go into the BIOS, it says above G4G decoding, just like earlier, and it says resize bar. But on the computer it'll, like itself in Windows, it'll call it SAM rather than resize bar. <laughs> um, so we're all good here on the 3D settings. That's basically all you need to change. Um, his files are validated now. By... This. Start up here, even though we did this earlier, it's always a double check. Anything that you don't need, you just disable. Yeah, so this is also a good way to tell if your memory was overclocked. So if you know what your base memory speeds are, it'll say it right here. But if your memory is overclocked, like on XMP or DOCP standard, the speeds will be higher than what your base clock is. Which, I don't know, like, I don't know his RAM off the top of my head or what the base one is, but, um, yeah, like I said, he had XMP on, so that'll... That all overclock the RAM automatically. So, uh, two small things: you have Edge and Google Chrome on your computer. On. Honestly, I'm just gonna turn these off for now, and then I'll turn them back on. Yeah, this is fine because having to switch between monitors is kind of mess right now. So if you have Edge, go into Edge, go to settings, go to system and performance, make sure you turn all this off. Um, the rest of this doesn't really matter too much, but you just don't want it running in the background. You don't want it using hardware Excel. Um, same with Google Chrome. Go into Chrome. Go settings, go system, and you're running background off, hardware Excel off, you don't need that. <clears throat> uh, Discord, let's go Discord. Oops. Go into your Discord settings. Make sure overlay is off. Um, advanced, I would recommend just turning off hardware Excel. Okay. All right, so then we're gonna go to advanced system settings, go to performance settings, adjust for best performance. Uh, make sure that smooth edges of screen fonts and no thumbnails instead of icons are the only two, because otherwise you're gonna get that weird, like wonky text on like programs and stuff. Um, but besides that, that's all you really need. Make sure over in advanced that it's set to adjust for best performance of programs and not background services. Paging file, I usually just have it set to system manage size. So set, press OK, it'll say re you need to restart for it to take effect. Press OK, it's fine. Apply. Uh, that's all we need to do in here. Um, 
startup and recovery. Uh, no, we don't need to do any of that. I think we're good. System protection. Uh, what I usually do is I, so like right now he has them, he already has like restore points. Um, I just delete the old ones, make a new one, um, create, call it Sparty Bob. So that way you're not just like taking up unnecessary space. All right, um, should be all good here. We're going to go to system configuration. Boot. If you have a pretty solid PC, if not, and, or like a really good PC, I would just set timeout to like five seconds. No, you don't really need the UI boot on. Uh, advanced options, number of processors, put it to your max. Press OK. Apply. OK. It's going to tell you that you need to restart. I'm not going to restart at the moment. Um, trying to think if there's anything off the top of my head else. Uh, so we're going to go registry editor. Be very careful in here. Do not fuck this up. Uh, if you fuck it up and your computer decides to blue screen or do some wonky shit, uh, blame yourself, not me. Uh, do this at your own risk. So you're going to go local machine. I'm going to go software, Microsoft. I go Windows NT, current version. Move this over a little bit. And we're going to go down to multimedia. System profile, tasks. Go to games, change, double click priority, change that to six. Scheduling category, type high with a capital H. Same thing for SFIO pri uh, priority. And we're going to go back up to system profile, system responsiveness. We're going to change this to eight zeros one two three four five six seven eight just like that and we're gonna go network throttling same thing but with f one two three four five six seven eight you enter one more one less uh you might break something so be careful uh that's all we're gonna do in here okay done um i'm gonna go services <laughs> so basically services are just things always running in the background to do whatever they're meant to do. Uh, if you don't need the service, basically we're just gonna disable it. So if you're not using Bluetooth, just gonna stop the service. We're gonna just change this to disabled, apply, bam, done. Uh, connected user experiences and telemetry, definitely disable that. Um, diagnostic policy service, you, you don't really need that on. Uh, Download Maps Manager, I would just disable that. Uh, geolocation service, I would, I don't know why you would need that for a gaming PC. If it was like a gaming laptop or something, maybe. But you don't really need that. Uh, IP helper, you don't need it unless you're using IPv6 for some reason, which I don't know why you would be. Um, pretty new technology. That's probably not going to be like a big thing for a while. Uh, 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 print spooler. If you're not using a printer for, like, if you're in school and you're using a printer, don't touch this. If you are, disable it. Radio management service. It's not going to let you stop this, but basically that's just, I don't, if you listen to the radio or put your phone or your computer in airplane mode, uh, which if you're using a desktop, you're never going to be using airplane mode. So to stop that. Oh, wait, you can't stop that. Like I said, it doesn't let you do it. But if you save, if you set it to disabled and restart your computer, it'll, it won't launch. Uh, then we're going to go Windows biometric service. Turn that off. Um, Pretty solid there, I believe. Let me go. So, on some computers, this is a thing. On some, it's not. If it, if you don't have group policy, don't worry about it. It's not that big of a deal. Um, if you do, that's cool. 
we're just going to go administrative templates. We're going to go system. We go power management, power throttling settings. Double click, turn off power throttling, enabled, apply. Okay, done. Bam. Uh, Windows 11, I don't think, has group policy, or at least not one that it lets you edit. Um, and I've also been on Windows 10 PCs where my group policy just doesn't exist. You can Google how to disable power throttling via registry if you want. Uh, I don't really think it's that big of a deal, but uh, yeah. All right, so next thing, uh, Afterburner. We downloaded this earlier. I just never extracted it, so we're going to extract. Uh, actually, we don't even need to extract just the setup. You can just double click that. Yes. Okay, yeah, we're just gonna install this. Uh, be careful with this because one of my friends actually told me that by having this on his computer, he got banned from Apex. And a lot of other people have gotten banned from Apex. Apparently, Afterburner like does not work well with their anti cheat or something. I don't know. I don't know why, considering all it does is monitor your GPU and set your GPU fan curves. Um, also, this is more so for, I mean, you can use MSI Afterburner for AMD cards. Um, I personally, I just set my fan curves on AMD fan cards through Adrenaline. Um, either or is fine though, but for NVIDIA cards, you definitely want Afterburner. So we're going to go in here. Once, once you get to Afterburner, go into the settings, start with Windows, start minimized. We're going to go over to Fan, enable user to find software control. Uh, we're going to go change this from 5,000 to 100. Force fan speed update on each period. Override zero fan speed with hardware curve. Um, and so that's all the settings that we need to change here. Now we're just going to actually set the fan curves. So I would start with uh, 3060. And I'd go 35, 65. And we're just going to double click, add another one, go 40, 70, I go 45, 75, and for exactly what I have mine at. We have 45, 75, 50, 80, 60, 90, and, uh, or no, 55, 90, 60, 100. So, do that. What one is it? Okay, there. 50, 80, 55, 90, 60, 100. This is basically just going to force, like, kind of like a better and a higher fan curve on your GPU so it cools itself down um, more efficiently. So after you set that, we're gonna like right click on five, left click it, save, check mark, good. So now, I mean, basically it should just launch every time you go, like every time you launch a computer, it should just be minimized. Um, the first time you do it, just double check that it's set properly. Good there. Um. Trying to think of anything else. I I think that's that's pretty much everything. Um. Uh, you can we can change some. Well, actually, there's some network adapter settings that you can change. I'm not gonna. I'll tell you what I would change. Or I could just show you on my computer. I don't even need to do it on his. Um. I'm just trying to think of if there's anything else before I restart his. Um, if you haven't ever done it, you might as well go command prompt, run as administrator. Uh, then you're going to come here, type capital SFC space scan now as one word. Run a system scan. It'll check for any, any like corrupted files or, or anything like that on your or like at, at least in your system 32 folder um, to see if there's anything corrupted. Um, if you haven't done it ever, I would recommend doing it. If you haven't done it in a while, recommend doing it. I do it every 
like week or so. Um, kind of quick run through settings again one more time because once I restart his computer, his PC, I'm not going to be able to log back in. I think I went through just about all of it though. Turn delivery optimization off. You don't really need that. Yeah, see. Found some corrupted files, it repairs them. Always useful. There's one thing, it's called Storage Sense. Storage Sense is pretty useful. Say like once a week. I play on Unlocked. Aaron said he was barely getting 200 FPS when he has a 3080 Ti, which is unacceptable. Bad. You have a 3080 Ti. Well, so like suppressed, he was like he was barely getting 200 when I when we were playing the C9 thing, and then I optimize I helped him optimize his stuff, and he went from getting like a little under 200 to basically like damn near like. A solid 390, 400 every every map. Um, I have a 3070 Ti and I only get 130 FPS with an overclock. Yeah, I mean, so I'm gonna I'm gonna re-upload. Like, I'm just gonna basically cut this and upload it to YouTube so people can follow along. Um, I even have the part where Aaron was showing. Like, there there's a couple of parts where I can't control the computer because the computer is offline like his bios or in safe mode but i was basically i was display capturing so you guys should be able to see what i told him to do um but like i said the only thing i didn't show in the video was how to overclock the ram because his was already overclocked so um that's really easy that's honestly probably the easiest part is just setting your bios to either xmp1 or docp standard it automatically clocks your ram or overclocks your RAM. I'm not going to do any overclocking on the CPU. That's up to you guys to do. You do that at your own risk. Um, a lot of newer stuff like comes automatically overclocked. Like, I right, let's see if his is yeah. So like, his base speed is 3.6 and it's running at about 4.5 and probably goes higher when he goes like into a into a game. So a lot like a lot of like stuff is automatically boosted. Um. You show the optimal in-game performance settings as well. Uh, I can. That. We're waiting. I, well, we're not waiting on anything. So let's. Um, we're gonna launch Halo on. We'll just launch it on his PC. I still can't believe this fucking goober had it installed on both Microsoft Store and Steam. Keep in mind, a lot of the stuff that I did to his computer needs to be... It, his PC still hasn't be re been restarted. So I need to... It needs to be restarted before a lot of this stuff is actually going to be... Like, super tweaked. How did you learn all this? Um, a lot of... A lot of time sitting right here. Yeah. 
yeah, I've looked into the timers. That's why I disable high precision event timer. Um, I didn't touch anything else on like his or anybody else's I've I've touched, but like on my own, I disabled dynamic tick. I I uh enabled platform clock. Oh hey, look guys, Twitch uh Twitch drops this weekend. Somebody else wants me to do their PC, so I mean I could do it again if you guys really want me to. No idea. Tweak. The higher your FOV, the slower your sense is going to feel, though. The loading bar is nuts. Well, keep in mind, we just reinstalled his GPU driver. So this is the initial load. This is like the initial shader load. After, like, we restart the game, it shouldn't... It sh either one shouldn't have to do this at all, or two... It'll be much quicker. Tommy Tom. Uh, I was helping Ace optimize his PC. I'm streaming to people to show them how to do it. Yeah, that's also praying that nobody swoops up the house. I don't know. I don't know. Like, every time we look at a house, we like it. It's like... 
it always gets like up right away. Five whole dollars on the rent, wow. It was, well, it was freezing in here earlier, but the PCs have warmed it up. They'll just like I don't know, I'm just still just like a not be awake, I guess. I'm not like fully aware yet. Um, that would be great. Okay. Um. Uh oh, is it Rukia? <clears throat> uh, I'm using my NVIDIA build the game right now. I'll uh I'm waiting to see what PCs they get for year three. And then I'll probably end up just getting one of those. Oh my god, we're almost done. <clears throat> How's it going, Aaron? Different Aaron, by the way, not Ace. Alright. Oh my god, guys, we can steal Ace's scent. I'm not going to do that. I don't really care, but... All right. Uh, somebody earlier at wanted to know what uh what the video like the best video settings would be. So, I swear to God, if this dude had it set like that, it might have changed automatically because of the GPU. But, <laughs> um, so what I have mine set to my graphics. Um, I have, so I just choose low. Uh, reflections off, volumetric fog off, uh, effects quality medium, animation max, simulation ultra, and flocking off. And then make sure you, I turn all this shit off too, you don't 
it's unnecessary. Um, I want to say it's in here. Yeah, turn this shit off. This is all just terrible. This is all terrible. Just makes your game blurry and nonsensical and unnecessary. Uh, that's what I do. Alright, so after that, you have to restart your game for some of that to take effect. Why the really low resolution in game? Um, I... If you have a really good PC, you don't need to lower it. Um, he wasn't really good. He said he wasn't getting good frames, so that's probably why he had his so low. Um... <sighs> Should I lower res scale all the way? Only if your only if your PC is not getting the FPS. Like if your PC is not at like a, a mid to high end PC, and I would I would recommend lowering it for a higher FPS. But if you have like a pretty damn good PC, you shouldn't have to go lower than like ninety at all. Like on on my current PC, my 4090 PC, like I have mine at 100. The visual impact is noticeable, but it's not like absurd. All right. So, like I said, we're not going to be able to see like the FPS boost that he gets really uh because a lot of the stuff I did isn't active already. It's not active yet because we haven't restarted the computer. Um, but I am about to do it again with someone else. So uh, before I do this, let me re-enable his other... Other monitors so he doesn't come back and he's very confused. 